Hello and welcome back to Let's Code Physics. Uh, this is the second episode in our Ticket to Ride Ticket Generator series. Um, so last time you saw my archive video from Valentine's Day when I made this code originally as a gift for my fiance and being the opportunist that I am I recorded it for a future video and I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I hope you've gotten a chance to, to try out the code with the game. Um, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to go back in and add in some different difficulty modes because the current mode of this game is pretty hard. Um, it indiscriminately draws routes of any length so you might get a bunch of short routes your your first draw and then your second draw you might get all 20 point routes is entirely possible. Um, it's worked out on average when my fiance and I have played it. Um, although we have adopted the strategy of breaking the rules a little bit and each of us playing with two sets of trains. Um, so we each take two colors. The games last, you know, an hour and a half, two hours. Um, but we can just keep on drawing routes. What I want to do today is I want to add in uh, two other difficulty modes. The current mode is fine for a hard mode. Um, so basically if, if the user selects a hard mode, the code will remain as it is. Um, <clears throat> But I need to scale it back down to match sort of the regular mode of the game. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to require that the first route that a player draws be greater than or equal to 19 points. That seems to be about the go a good uh, range for a long route like you would get in the game. Um, and then I'm going to set it so that any other routes that they draw have to be less than, I think, 17 points would be a fine cutoff. I don't... I don't know whether there's any in the game that get up to 15 or 16 points, but you know that's that that, that would still be short enough to be manageable. Um, <clears throat> and then after that, I'll add in an easy mode, where it obeys all the same rules as regular, but there's an additional 50% chance that when you draw a route and then another route, that one of the two cities on this route matches one of the two cities on the previous route. So let's dive in. Uh, I think I'll start with the regular mode first since the easy mode is going to be the regular mode plus the additional 50%. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing I need to do is uh, have a way of keeping track of everybody's difficulty level. So we're going to, let's create a new list called diff. And that'll just be each player's difficulty level. Um, let's have it be where a z, uh, one equals easy, a two equals normal, and a three equals hard. Um, I think that'll work out okay. Um, or does it make more sense for easy to be zero? Um, I don't know, one, two, and three are right next to each other on the keyboard, so that probably makes more sense. And people count starting at one. Most people, not you, Python, apparently. So now that I've got that list initialized, I need to add in an option for the, uh, an opportunity for the player to tell me what difficulty that they want. Um, <clears throat> so type your name in quotation marks and press, press enter. Then what we'll do is we'll say, um, I'll have it print, uh, I'll have it print name. Uh, what, uh, at what difficulty would you like to play? We'll put the uh, preposition at the beginning of the sentence there. There we go, not at the end. <clears throat> then we'll have, uh, let's see, we've got name. I already made it diff. Uh, why don't actually, these are all plural, so let's make this one plural. Cities, names, routes, diffs. I'm just being all grammatical today, aren't I? Um, Let's see, so we'll say uh, diff equals input. So diff will just be the, the dummy variable to temporarily store the difficulty level. And then we'll say diffs dot append of diff. So just like we did with the name up here, we're adding this to the, um, we're adding, uh, uh, we're, we're taking an input and then we're adding it to the list indexed by the player number. Cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see, okay, so we want the hard mode to be as is. Um, I guess here's the question is on hard mode, should it automatically draw a long route as well? Or should it uh, or should it run the possibility of giving you short routes at the beginning? It seems like it needs to have you give you at least one long route at the beginning. Um, so let's do that, let's, let's encode that this way. So here's where we're checking on the routes. Uh, for example, here's where we're checking for whether 
the routes match. Um, so for example there, if the two routes match, you definitely want um, you know you definitely want the uh, you definitely want it to, to loop back around. Uh, then let's also check for the length of the route. Uh, oh, I do need something on the if there, don't I? Okay, so what I want to do is uh, let's go ahead and just have this be the first one. So if ir equals one, right? So if you're on the first draw, let's just make sure that first draw is always long. Um, so if you're on the first route, and the uh, let's see here. Oh, it hasn't evaluated distance yet, has it? Um, so maybe I need to have it evaluate distance up above. <clears throat> so let's move this distance and points to up here. And paste. Will that work in there? Uh, no, that won't work in there. Um, oh, no, no, no that, that works in there. That works in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll check. Yeah, we just have to indent it because it's just drawn IC2. So now it's going to be evaluating this calculation more often, but it, it's not going to slow down the code uh, astronomically, I don't think. Um, and if it does, I've got this saved under a different name uh, so that uh, you can't see my cursor there because my face is covering it up. But trust me, it's saved under a different name so I can go back to the original version if I need to. Um, else, if you're on the first draw and points, because I don't really have a sense for what the distances are. It's measured in pixels on whatever picture it was I downloaded. And points is, let's see, we want it to be at least 19. So if points is less than 19, then what I want you to do is again set IC2 equal to IC1. So that's the same output. I could put that up here under uh, under this if, but this if is already off the screen. And if I ever wanted to change the notation, you know, then that might cause a problem. So I think it I think it makes a little bit more sense to have it be an else if. I think. Um, <clears throat> cool. So this way, so this one guarantees first draw is a long route. Cool. Okay, so that takes care of everybody. I haven't taken the difficulty into account there, so that's that's just applying to everybody. Cool. What I need to do next, though, is I need to make it so that regular mode and easy mode uh, are put in terms of... Uh, I need to make sure that regular mode and easy mode... Uh, don't draw another long route. So what I need to do next is I need to check else if IR doesn't equal one. So if we're on the um, so if we're on the second, third, or fourth draw, <clears throat> and difficulty doesn't equal three because I set it up to where three was hard mode, right? Yeah, three is hard mode. Let me write that down as a note for myself. One is easy. 2 is normal, and 3 is hard. I almost wrote down difficult, but I've already got diff difficulty as a variable. All right, else if IR doesn't equal 1 and diff doesn't equal 3, meaning they didn't opt for hard mode, and this is later on, otherwise you set IC2 to go IC1. Oh, excuse me, I do need to set the, um, I actually need to set the point value there, don't I? Uh, <laughs> and points is greater than, let's do greater than or equal to 17. Uh, I sort of feel like 16, so 16 would then be the maximum. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> So we've got these three scenarios in which it would kick back to the beginning, um, in which it would say, "No, no, no! You need to pick another two. Uh, you need to pick another second city." And that's if the two cities match, if you are drawing on the first one and it's not long enough, and if you're not in hard mode and you are on the not first draw. Okay, so this one is going to be guarantee. Subsequent draws are short routes for non-hard mode. Non-hard mode. There we go. Okay, cool. <clears throat> routes dot append. And once it's done with this while loop here, then it'll jump down here to append the routes. Okay, cool. So what I need to do next is I need to implement this for the second round of drawing. So let's do this. Uh, let's take this whole chunk. Well, actually, not that part because I've already got I've already got this the non-matching part 
taken care of. I already have the eye check taken care of down below for the subsequent draws. So I need to put this in between these two. Uh-huh. This needs to indent, this needs to indent, indent, indent. Since we're inside a loop, I need to indent again. Um, let's see, so IR equals one. Uh, so actually this one we don't care about anymore because we are not trying to guarantee this long route. So I copied and pasted this just to delete it down here. And this one, um, is, I don't need this one anymore. Um, right, because I don't care which one it's drawing on. Uh, difficulty is no longer, uh, DIFF is no longer uh, kept track of. Now I need to get to diffs of IP because IP is the player number that gets inputted here. Um, isn't it? Yeah, IP equals input. Okay, so if they're not on hard mode and the points are greater than or equal to 17, then it guarantees that subsequent draws are short routes for non-hard mode. So here's a question. I'll let you debate this in the comments. Should I let people change their difficulty level in the middle of the game? And if so, what should be the point penalty for changing your difficulty level in the middle of the game? Or do you already get enough of a penalty by having all those long routes that you can't complete? Hmm, some, there's some interesting game design principles here going on. Okay, cool. So I think that takes care of the hard mode and the normal mode, because the game is already in hard mode, so you know all I have to do is check for whether, it's not, whether difficulty is not equal to three for somebody, and that will take care of their uh, that will take care of them being in hard mode or normal mode. Um, so let's give it a try here. Let's let's try a sample game. Uh oh, invalid syntax. Hmm. Excuse me. It's not called Elsif. It's called Elif. Elif. It's some form of Elif, but I can't read it. That was a bit of a stretch, Brian. Yeah, probably. All right, let's try that again. Okay, welcome to Ticket to Ride Europe Ticket Generator. How many players are playing today? Oh, yeah. After I get done with this, I have to make the American version, the African version, etc. Yeah. Uh, let's go with let's go with uh, let's see let's let's do four players just so we have enough to, to, to try around with. Player number one. Uh, let's try Leonard. Please type your name. Oops, in quotation marks. Um, little bit of an update. I am working on a version that actually has a graphical user interface where you have buttons to press instead of hitting enter all the time, and where you also don't have to put the name in quotation marks. So I'm hoping I'll have the logic for that shell worked out uh, before the next video, so that I can import my current logic, the code, the actual calculation into the one with a graphical user interface. Um, Leonard, at what difficulty would you like to play? So I need to test all three of these. So uh, let's see, Leonard is going to play normal. Let me write down that Leonard is playing normal mode. Oh, and I need to add in a note of what the difficulties are so that the humans can read it. Add note for difficulty. I should also probably add in a check to make sure that they put in a one, two, or three. Add check for one, two, three. There we go. I might add those off camera just, you know, since that's not terribly interesting to y'all. Okay, Leonard, here are your first four routes. Okay, Leonard got a long route. He got Warsaw to Cadiz. That's a pretty decent route worth 19 points. And then he got three uh, uh, not so long routes. <clears throat> we got Zagreb to Kharkov, Palermo to Marseille, Daipe to Brindisi. Cool. And it just occurred to me another thing I need is I need a minimum length for the routes for anybody because this thing will generate routes of two point values or even down to one point. And that seems a little bit, uh, seems a little bit, uh, short. Actually, maybe I'll leave that in the easy mode. Uh, so minimum length for normal and hard. Easy mode can get, you know, any length. Okay. Press enter. Okay, so that worked out for Leonard. Let's go for Sheldon. Sheldon is going to go in hard mode. So let's put in a three for him. Okay, and Sheldon uh, got Athens to Edinburgh. I told you I get it all the time. Um, at, Sheldon got Athens to Edinburgh for 21 points. He also got Petrograd to Dipe for 18 and Bucharesti to Edinburgh for 19 uh, yeah, um, so he's got two things going into Edinburgh, so that's good, but Bucharesti is, 
Well, Bucharesti is that way. I think Athens is that way. So that's, that kind of works out all right. Um, so Sheldon has already proven that uh, hard mode works. And player three, what is your name? Let's go with Howard. Howard, Howard only has a master degree, so he's going to go into easy mode. Which at this point doesn't mean anything, right? So at this point, I have not programmed a distinction between easy mode and normal mode. So Howard's routes look a lot like Leonard's routes. There's one long one. There's a 6, a 14, and 8. Cool. <clears throat> and Raj, uh, let's give you normal mode. Okay, and again, we get a 19, an 8, a 10, and a 7. Cool. Okay, so that is working. And then let's just test this out again. So Leonard is in normal. I only wrote down which one Leonard was in. Uh, let's see, easy was Howard, hard was Sheldon, Raj was normal. Kind of a strange statement to say. <clears throat> Leonard got two routes. How did Leonard get two routes? <clears throat> That's interesting. He also got a long route there. He shouldn't have gotten that one. Uh, let's try that again. Uh-oh. My code seems to be stuck. What did I do? Um, let's see. While I check is less than length of the routes. Um, 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 um. <clears throat> hmm. What happened to Leonard's other route? Print cities, I see one, zero. Right, it, so, so it's doing that within this IR loop. So let's try this out. Print IR equals IR. Okay, so I can see what it's where it's doing this in the loop. Um, so while I check is less than length of the routes, right? <clears throat> that one was working before. If difficulty doesn't equal three, and points is greater than or equal to 17. Which this one triggered it, but then it went ahead and printed it. Hmm. Okay, well, let's let's put that in there, see if it's getting caught there somewhere. Um, let's just go with two players now. Ooh. Why, why would you print that there? Um... Let's exit this thing. There we go. <clears throat> Start anew. Okay, let's go two players. Leonard. Let's put Leonard at normal. Okay, and that logic didn't work out because now it's not giving me a long first route. Press enter when you've written down. Sheldon. We'll play it hard mode. Sheldon got a 25-pointer. Enter. Let's try Leonard. All right, Leonard's getting stuck at IR equals one. <clears throat> now, is it that the code is... Is it getting stuck in this loop? Is that what's happening? Why has this changed just because I added this? Oh, because, oh, 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 because I didn't move the distance and point calculation. There we go. So that needs to be right after the IC2. Okay, that explains that. That my print statement didn't actually help me with that, but um, <laughs> but that was helpful. Now, why did it spit out? Okay, so it spat out a bad result up here, but that might be because it had messed up down there and was still running like two codes at once or something. So let let's fix one thing at a time. Okay, two players, Leonard going to be on normal mode. <clears throat> okay, so again, this spat out a non-long route. So let's take a look at the logic there. So I gave it a difficulty of two. Okay. If IR equals one, uh-huh, which it was on this one, it had IR equal to one. And points was less than 19. Mm -hmm. So 
So it should have set IC2 equal to IC1 and then looped back up to here. Okay, let's do this. Uh, print for me, please. Pring for me, please. Uh, that was not long enough. Exclamation mark. Okay. All right. Again, let's exit this. This is the fun part. This is the debugging. So we go F5, two players, Leonard in normal mode. <clears throat> okay, it pulled one out at 16. It's supposed to go, it's supposed to trigger it at 19. Hmm. But it didn't spit out the, that was not long enough, right? So if it entered this ELSIF block, then it should be spitting out a that wasn't long enough. So it's not entering this block for some reason. Um, let's see here. If IR equals 1 and points less than 19, well then let's do this. Let's have it print for me please. IR comma points, IR comma points. Okay, uh, exit you. Let's run this again. All right, two players. Leonard, with difficulty two. All right, IR, one, points, 12. Okay, so it got a one and a 12 there. So we got a one and a 12. So IR equals one, points was less than 19, but it didn't go into here, right? Right, that's what's happening. If you take a look at this, this is the first one. This is right after it says, Leonard, here are your first four routes. Right, that's what it does here. Name here your first four routes. It comes down into here. It's reached this point for the first time, and it's got an IR of one and a points of twelve. An IR of one <clears throat> and a points of twelve. That should be triggering this this else if block. Right, because it's skipping this part, right? Because the only reason it wouldn't go in there is if it had already gone in this one, but it clearly hasn't done that, right? Those routes were the same. Those cities were the same, exclamation mark. All right, let's exit this again. F5. Two players. Sheldon, you will get a turn soon enough. Sheldon would enjoy this more than, well, would he enjoy this more than the game? I don't know. Uh, Leonard's at normal difficulty. One to 12, and it doesn't give me a print of either one of those. Hmm, so it's not going into this one. It's not going into this one. Okay. All right then. Uh, it's possible that it's that this equality is is not working. So let's try IR less than two. F five. Oh shoot! I didn't kill the previous thing. Uh, there we go. F five. Two players. Yes, I'm aware I could just put in one player, but you don't do a one player ticket to ride. Actually, maybe you could. Might be an interesting thing to try. Leonard, here are your first four routes. IR comma points one comma five, and then it spits it out. That's so weird. All right, here it's obeying because here it got an 18 and that's too long. So let's confirm that this is working out here. Print, that was too long. Actually, let's make it to where I can see this a little easier because there's a lot of text spitting out at once. Here we go. Exit. Two players. Leonard. Leonard will be normal. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay, so it's working with the that was too long. So it's entering into this one just fine. But for whatever reason, it's not entering into this one when it... Because the first one, Berlin to Athens, 
is 11 points, and that's too short. Hmm. So what's going on here? I got an, if I R less than two, mm, this is not the right way to do this logically, but humor me for just a second. Let's take off the, the else if and just put on an if. <clears throat> Oh, shoot, I forgot to exit. Exit, yes. F5, two players, Leonard, normal. Leonard here, first five routes. IR comp points, one, six. All right, IR is less than one, right? It's printing IR, right? I'm, I'm, I'm not reading this wrong, am I? IR is one and points is six. IR is one and points is six. So IR is less than two and points is less than 19. I mean, do these need to be reals instead of integers? Surely not. Two, Leonard, two. Okay, that one happened to draw a 25 pointer. Okay, so let's continue on. Sheldon will play it hard mode. Oh, bother. Sheldon got caught in an infinite loop. Why did Sheldon get caught in an infinite loop? If IR doesn't equal one and if doesn't equal three. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, I tell you, what, let's get this logic block worked out, then we'll get this one worked out. Um, oh, you know what? I think I know what it is. I bet I know what it is. I'm wondering whether it's reading in a numerical value or whether it's reading in a string for difficulty. Because if it's reading in a string, then this statement of IR and less than 2.0 and all that, uh, excuse me, not the IR, the, excuse me, then this business about diff is not going to make any difference. IR should still be working though. Hmm. Okay, well, let's do this. Let's do diff equals integer of diff, just in case. Just in case it's reading that in as a as a alphanumeric character, not a number. Um, hmm. <clears throat> Gosh, this episode may be entirely dedicated to getting normal mode to work. I might not get around to easy mode. Um, let's see. All right, let's. Boy, that shouldn't be changing that. All right, let me let me let me take another look at it. Uh, let's just go one player. Leonard. Let's put him at normal mode. Okay, it's catching that that was too long. So this is working, right? Because it gets down to a two pointer, which I need to add in the minimum, but I will do that later. Um, so it's getting this two pointer. It's catching that that's fine. It's catching that that's fine. Okay, so this logical block is working. If IR doesn't equal one and diff doesn't equal three and points greater than equal 17. But for whatever reason, it is not triggering this IR and points. <clears throat> Am I calling things by the wrong name or something? Because I have an IR equal to one here. So it's starting out at IR equals one. It's got IR one and points of like four or something. Yeah, four in this case. If I are less than two, well, then I guess we test the logicals. Print I R less than two, comma, I R less than 2.0. So it'll print that out as a logical variable. Print points less than 19, comma, points. I mean, what you have to do at this point is you literally have to tell the computer, tell me what it is that you are seeing. Oh, and of course I did not, uh, Kill the program, there we go. 
One player. Leonard, we are going to get this game started soon, buddy. Uh, let's see. Normal. Okay, so that one went on a few loops. So the first one... Okay, so this is interesting. Oh. IR comma points equals 1, 5. It jumped right down. It did not actually read this. It didn't it didn't get to this point. See how it printed uh uh <clears throat> IR less than that for the second one? See how it's got IR of two here? And then it evaluates it? So it's not even it's never even making it down there. Why would it not make it down there? It's making it into here. Comma ICHK comma length of routes almost hit a five f5 one player Leonard. normal okay oh well here's your problem oh Okay, y'all have been probably staring at me, yelling at me about this. Okay, let's recap for a minute here. Routes here, this list, is the routes that have been picked so far. If there have not been any routes picked so far, then it's checking for while I check is less than length of routes, and length of routes is 1, it's never going to go through that loop. So the reason it's skipping that, it's got nothing to do with this. I was fine with my equals one there. I was fine with my equals one there. The problem is it never enters the I check. I was checking the wrong thing. I needed to check the I check because this was equal to one, this length of the routes, because I hadn't added anything to the routes yet. Okay. Oh, <sighs> okay. Um, oh, okay, I, I know an easy way to fix this. I think I think I do. Let's get rid of these print statements for right now because I think I'm about to not need them. I'm gonna, gonna, gonna clear the playing field here. These don't need to be under the I check loop. Those don't need to be under the I check loop because it's not looping over, it, they're, they're, they're not using that loop. So let's cut that, paste it here, that does not need to be under the I check loop. That can get de-indented there, de-indented, unindented. <clears throat> now that lines up with that. All right. Okay, and it's but it's still under the while IC2 equals IC1 loop. All right, in good faith that that works out, I'm gonna move these, or move this one out there. Do the same thing down here. Yep, only now I don't need the elif. <clears throat> so actually, so I was right to change it from an elif to an if. I just needed to move it outside the loop. All right, let's try that again. Y'all have been watching me for like half an hour struggle with that, haven't you? Let's see here. F5. All right, two players. Leonard is going to play at normal difficulty level. Okay, I need to get rid of those um, print statements. That's irritating. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yep. Okay, cool. And it's checking it. Oh, thank goodness. It's checking it now till it finally gets one that's worth 20. Pamplona to Smolensk, 20 points. Then it says 19 is too long, but 15 is just right. Going from Istanbul, not Constantinople, to Stockholm. That's 15. Munchen to Vine. Oh, okay, good. Whoo. All right. Leonard writes down his routes. Sheldon selects hard mode. <clears throat> Sheldon gets 19, 11, and 14, and 11. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Enter. And then let's check this one. Leonard gets easy routes. Leonard gets easy routes. Leonard gets easy routes. Leonard gets easy routes. They're probably not easy at this point. He's probably running out of trains at this point. Sheldon gets a hard one. Sheldon gets some easy ones. Sheldon gets a hard one. Sheldon gets medium ones. Okay, enter. Uh, zero to end the program. Thanks for playing. Thank you for running. Okay, cool. 
Alright. Get rid of these now. Oh, man. Okay. <clears throat> I'll probably go back and cut some of that. Okay. Well, now I feel better about that. Um, let's do this now. Let's, um, let's add to this one, uh, uh, that they are, let's, let's now add on a check for whether routes are too short. I think the minimum route in the game is like five or something. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's like five. Let, well, let's make it five for, for the purpose of this game. <clears throat> um, else if IR doesn't equal one. And points is less than five. I see two equals I see one. Cool. All right. All right. So this is to guarantee guarantee route isn't too easy. And actually, let's do um, let's put on here an diff doesn't equal one right so in other words if it's on the second draw or there's if it's on a second or further draw if it's on the subsequent draw and the difficulty is not easy so you can get this if it's an easy mode and the points is less than five okay cool so that guarantees that awesome okay uh and then i need to add that into the subsequent draws um, let's do it this way tap that one okay so if you're so so this guarantees subsequent draw is short for non hard mode and this saying that the guaranteed route isn't too easy for non easy mode Easy mode gets easy routes. Let's try that one out. Okay, let's try three players. Let's try Leonard. Actually, let's do this in decreasing order. Sheldon. Actually, no, let's do this in increasing order. Penny is not much of a board gamer, and she's going to play it easy mode. And Penny didn't get any routes. <laughs> All right, what happened with Penny's routes? <clears throat> All right, if IR is equal to 1 and points is less than 19, okay. So it's not going into that one for some reason. Else if IR doesn't equal 1 and difficulty doesn't equal... Else if... Hmm, okay. Shouldn't have taken out my print statements, apparently. <laughs> Let's do this. Print for me, please. Uh, let's do IR points difficulty. Five, three players. Penny. Penny's going to play it easy mode. So it's printing out an IR of 1, a points of just about anything, and a difficulty of 1. Okay. Cancel. Yeah, so the points is coming out randomly like it should be, and her difficulty is fine, and this is fine. Um, so what's going on here? So it's checking for whether the, it's been done before, which it won't need to worry about in the first run. If R equals 1 and points is less than 19. She never got points greater than 19. How is that possible? No, she never got points greater than 19. That's weird. Okay, so else, okay, yeah, that's the one that wasn't, that was being met. Hmm, that's strange. 
If IR equals one and points, all right, all right, all right. Let's 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 mm. let's try Sheldon in hard mode. Okay, Sheldon got routes without a problem. His got to 19 relatively quickly. Enter. Leonard, we're gonna put on normal mode. Leonard got 19 points. Penny, let's put on easy mode. How is it that she's never getting anything? Because I don't have easy mode doing anything else, I don't think. What in the world? Okay, let's go back over this. IC1 is a random number between one and the number of cities. Check. IC2 originally equals IC1. Well, IC2 equals IC1, so the number's here. IC2 equals random range here. It calculates this and calculates the points. So whenever it's printing, it has successfully calculated the points. Uh huh. <clears throat> hmm. is too short. Route is too long. Well, no, it's not going into there because IR is one. Why is it never generating? Why is it never generating a long route? F5, one, Leonard, one. Does it just not like the name Penny? F, oops, F5, two, Penny. Okay, it worked out there. That was weird, okay. Keep it, I'll keep an eye on that. Um, save, F5, oops, never ended the previous program. <clears throat> Five, three, Penny, going to be in easy mode. Good. Leonard, going to be in easy mode. Sheldon, he won't be my friend after this, going to be in easy mode. That's weird. I don't know why it was going back and forth like that. Oh, well, okay. Uh, zero, there we go. Okay, so, uh, gosh, this episode has gone on for a while now. Um, so I think we'll call it quits there. Um, we got in our check to make sure that the route, that, that subsequent draws are greater than five, except on easy mode. And, uh, yeah, I think that'll be good. So what I'm going to do in the next episode is uh, add in the easy mode, add in the official easy mode where there's a 50% chance that the uh, next city you draw will match one of the previous cities you drew. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.